In this video, we're going to have a look at using the title filter from WooCommerce, which allows you to add your own class to the product title in the archive view. So as an example, here we are on the shop page. And if I refresh, you'll see that the product title goes from that to this updated look. Um, that's very easily done. So if we go and have a look at the function, you'll see here that we're adding this filter called the WooCommerce product loop title classes and this is essentially the function so by woocommerce product loop title classes is the function that i've written to use with that filter and we pull in the variable string and in that string we have the name of the class so if i go and have a look at the website and i inspect the title you will now see that the title is still an H2 title, but my class has been added. What we can also do then is um, only apply that class to specific categories. So you could use a very simple if statement has underscore term. And that term is, let's say, the beanie category. And then what we're going to do is say the term is a product cat. So, of course, you could also target product tags. And then we're going to close that off. Right, so now we've just applied that. So this will only apply now to the uh, beanie category. So let's save that. So we're going to save those changes. Head over to the website. And now when we refresh, you'll actually see that the uh, change has only been applied to the beanie category. So refresh that again. And you see only applied to the beanie category. So this does allow you now to create different classes and then wrap the titles from different categories then um, in a different way. Uh, the other the other thing that we can do then is uh, just to give an, show you an example here. So let's say if has terms beanie let's say we wanted to include more than one so let's say if has terms beanie and then in that array we're going to include more than one so beanie comma and uh, let's include another one so maybe music right so the music category and the beanie category are now going to be wrapped in that class so we save that head over to the website refresh and now you'll see that album, the beanie category, and if I keep scrolling down, you'll see another music category has been assigned that. So to show you quickly then, maybe we'll add a class which hasn't been um, created yet. So let's have a look at um, hoodie. So we want to make sure we target the right name. So if we go and have a look at the category, we see that the category is hoodies. And then what I'm going to do then is head back to the arc, to the uh, function, and if has term, then I'm going to copy that, and then we're going to say if has term, and in this case, I can leave the array statement there and just put in um, hoodies, and my class, and we'll call that hoodies. So now. The string will this um, string will be updated if the term is hoodies. So let's save that and head over to the website and we'll refresh. And now what you're going to see is that the hoodies um, heading is completely um, incorrect. And the reason for that is that because we've applied our own class, the default class has not been applied. So if we have a look here, you'll see that the default class looks like that. And of course, now because we've added our own, we need to add the style. So then it's a case of heading over to the customize section. In this case, just to show you additional CSS. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to add in my class here at the top. So there's my class. And then what I'm quickly going to do is just copy those elements over. Um, and in this case, what I'm going to do to make it completely different is I'm going to copy that. I'm going to remove the background. And then we're just going to go with a, let's just do something different like a border. 
one pixel solid. Right, so now if we were to look at that, you will now see that if we scroll down here to hoodie with logo, you'll see now that um, those new styles have um, been applied. Uh, let's just have a look here. Um, the border one pick solid and the color needs the hashtag. There we go. So now we've um, updated that and I can publish. I'm going to close these elements and now you'll see that when we look at our website the we have album beanie beanie with logo looking similar and then the hoodie hoodie with logo now has a completely different header and all the rest then just inherit the default if we go and have a look at a category page for example so let's have a look at accessories and in accessories you'll see no change and let's have a look at hoodies you will see that the hoodies have been applied and we look at the beanie and you'll see that the beanie title has been applied but if we go through to a single product there's been no change to the title on the single product so that's um, how you can then target and change without editing your template the title of the products on the main archive and category pages and then you could also using terms then target um, product tags as well so really up to you how you want to apply. Well, I hope you enjoyed that and thank you for watching.